Our show is called Power of Ten, and we were very inspired by Dmitry Shostakovich, his 10th symphony. And obviously it, it, it was kind of funny because the piece of music came first, as it often does here at Cadets. We got really, really excited about this music. It's very aggressive. It has a lot of fast tempos. One of the things we decided to change this year was our front ensemble setup. And we really decided to go to a choir type setup where if you look at the right side of the pit, you're gonna see all wood instruments in regards to xylophone, marimba, and so on. If you look at the left side of the pit, you're gonna see all metallic instruments, vibraphones, uh, bells, cratales, and things like that. So we really wanted to experiment with choirs. In the first excerpt you're gonna hear, we're gonna be playing with the battery and we're playing the percussion feature which is entitled the waltz. And really the front ensemble has dual roles in this piece. We're trying to be the orchestra and emulate all the sounds that the strings and the, the full orchestra is taking on in, in the Shostakovich original, but we're also trying to have an extremely aggressive percussion quality to what we're doing. Our percussion feature this year is really a total production piece that incorporates the brass section as more of an accompanist to the percussion section. And we took from the third movement of the 10th symphony, which is really wild because it starts off at a tempo of about 144 beats a minute and it's a long a cello rondo over about a two minute period and it ends up being as fast as 226 beats a minute. So we kind of like the idea of trying to display this range of tempo from the original Shostakovich and see if we could get it on the football field. Our ballad this year, or movement three of our show, is a really interesting moment for the pit because the brass is playing a beautiful lush chorale throughout the entire movement. And to be honest with you, it's extremely unpercussive. And it was really an open book as far as our ability to write something for the front ensemble that would accompany the brass but didn't necessarily have to be attached to their ideas. And one of the things we tried to do with our setup um, being choirs, uh, woods on the right, metallics on the left, we actually decided to move the entire front ensemble over to the right side of the pit. So we, the entire front ensemble begins um, with the wooden choir and then it's a slow migration throughout the entire movement. We start dropping folks off the wooden side and they start migrating to the metallic side and eventually by the end of the ballad, two minutes later, we're all ending up on metallic instruments on the left side of the pit. So it was really just trying to put a unique concept that would 
implement the strengths of our setup um, and our instrumentation and try to uh, give it a unique flavor to what the brass were uh, playing. Thanks for joining us for Behind the Music, so to speak. We love the fact that we could get out here and show you what we're doing this summer. Download our music, check out what we're doing, and we can't wait to see you down the road.